just hop on there real quick go all the way up and then if we hop off as you can see it stays in place for the two seconds and then it comes back down what is up you guys today i'm going to be showing you how to make a elevator lift that you would see in like some platformer games so the very first thing that you are simply going to want to do is come down to the bottom section right here and right click when you do so you will be able to find the blueprint class once you have that as selected you're going to have a bunch of different options here but just go for the actor component specifically and just name it whatever you want i'm going to say uh lift for this one specifically and once you have done that simply open up the blueprint class and you will have the editor menu pop up but as you can tell there's not really a foundation for our elevator so what we're going to want to do is come over here to the left hand side where it says add component and just simply bring in a cube now of course we're going to have to adjust this because it's kind of really wonky and so let's just kind of bring the scale down and make it a little bit longer and a little bit wider so it kind of looks like an actual platform now so now that you do that compile and save and if we go back to our main menu here and we click and drag it in you can see that it looks like a platform but what we're missing is the ability to raise it and lower it okay so for the next part we are actually going to want to do the physical component section of this so when you go back in to the menu here you're going to want to go back up to the add component section and then type in collision box so what is happening is we are actually going to make it so when the player steps and interacts with this collision box whatever we have set will be activated so just simply scale this up to whatever the size is of your platform just for this we're not being like really specific just for demonstration purposes once you have done that come down to the bottom and then where you see the on component begin overlap this is referring to as soon as the player begins the overlapping section of uh, the collision box it will activate what we are about to do so when you click that you are going to get the on component box and then just simply drag out from there and type in timeline once you add a timeline just simply double click all right so once you open your timeline you're going to want to go up here to the top left section and type in add vector track once you get here make sure that you lock the x and y axis so that way it's not affecting the length and the angle it's just only specifically focusing on the ups and downs of the motion that we are trying to create so right here we are going to want to shift click and then for the time set zero and a value of 250 so the reason we are doing that is because not 250 <laughs> zero the reason we're doing that is because it's the beginning and so we don't want it to be at a specific height right off the bat we want it to just simply start and then move into that transition phase and then i'm going to want to do the same thing make another point set the time through three and the value to 250 so what that means is that three seconds the value will be at 250 once you have that just click compile and save all right so once you are done with that what we are going to be doing is we're actually going to be updating the timeline so what you're going to want to do is come over here and as you can tell we actually have the cube mesh which is the platform that we did and just simply drag that in from this point we're going to want to drag out and then type in set relative location so basically what is happening is it's going to be changing the specific location of our cube platform now just drag this in and connect to the update and for our new track it is going to specifically be that new location so when you click compile and save and we just click play here you can see that when we jump onto the thing and we encounter the overlap it will go up for three seconds to the value of 250 but as you can see when we jump off it is actually not coming back down so we're going to be fixing that so now the next part here is we're actually going to go back to the lift that we were just covering and if we go to the viewport and click 
on our box collision again, you are going to simply want to go down to the bottom here and then where it says on component and overlap, which is basically when the player is not overlapping on the collision box anymore, you are going to want to click that and simply drag to reverse. So basically what is happening is like once the process is done or uh, actually should I say as soon as the player stops making contact with the collision it will immediately go in the reverse format of which you have done that timeline in. So when you click compile and save and you go back and play again as you can see when we jump on it I completely missed <laughs> when you jump on it the platform is going up but if we jump off you can tell that the platform is going back down. Now as you can tell that one was really really quick that was immediate now, if you wanted it to be something a little bit more slower as you would see in something like Spyro where it would come down maybe like uh, two seconds afterwards you're just going to simply want to add a delay node so it's the same concept except instead of going in directly you're going to want to go into a delay and then just simply set it to what you want to do so let's just say um, two seconds for this so once the player is off it after two seconds it will begin the reverse process so if we go back and we do this again we just hop on there real quick go all the way up and then if we hop off as you can see it stays in place for the two seconds and then it comes back down now of course you can change how long that's actually going to be in place depending on what you're needing it for uh, but that's just for simplicity's sake but without further ado, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment and any suggestions that you would like to see in future tutorials.